discussion on television about the politicization of the pandemic and a lot of blame cast right on Trump and the and the our GOP for doing that. But what people are ignoring is something really critical that was reported in the Washington Post on the 1st of May. There's this article and here it is. I have it here, which is not something I often do, but this is uh, so significant to me that I wanted to make sure I had it printed out. The headline is about technology that was once used to combat ISIS propaganda is being um, employed by a democratic uh, political action committee, a super PAC, basically, to, co to counteract uh, Trump's messaging on the coronavirus and his handling of the coronavirus. And this uh, super PAC has enlisted the assistance of General Stanley McChrystal, who many of your viewers will recognize his name. And he has openly stated in this article, it's a whole piece about it, the Washington Post has no problem with this, that they're taking a weapon of war that was designed to counter ISIS and Al-Qaeda, in other words, U.S. enemies, and they're using it against uh, the U.S., against American citizens in this country. And they say in their own words, it's to combat online efforts to promote President Trump's handling of the coronavirus pandemic. So if you've got a Republican governor in Florida who's succeeding, that's not a message they want to hear. You want to know how they'll combat it? Well, I'll tell you what. They're going to use artificial intelligence and network analysis to map a discussion of the president's claims on social media and then seek to intervene by identifying the most popular counter narratives and boosting them through a network of more than 3.4 million social social influences across the country and some of those people will be paid by them. So I think what people may not understand about this is you're taking a weapon of war that the United States developed to use against its foreign enemies and a, US, a former U.S. general is using that technology and those tactics with a political action committee and they're using it against uh, to counter Trump's handling of the coronavirus pandemic. That is deeply political. And it's also, you know, you can speak to many people in the intelligence community who will tell you right. that it's also illegal, never mind unethical. And that's where I think the I'm real, surprised. that's where the heart of the media issue lies over the virus. A lot of discussion.